Paul's left is so bad, I'm gonna slam that. What's up, you batty munchies? Yippee car, yay, motherfuckers. I'm tired of shite. <laughs> see, you uh, it, hey. see, see you went away, and you've now got a uh, black t shirt as well. Hey, man, you know. Good to be uh, back in black. You've got to you got to keep it sexy for the viewers. But um, <sighs> how's it going, Scott Peggs? You look tired. Yeah, I am. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on, bro? It's been a while since I've seen you. You also yeah. look a bit tanned as well. Do I? Oh, I have, I've, I've, the aircon's in like twenty three degrees in here, so it's pretty yeah. hot. Yeah, man, it's nice and hot in here. <laughs> What's going on in Scott Peggs's life? <laughs> Uh, boredom, working, working, working. Boredom? Yeah. Boredom, he says. Yeah, I have that, that is utter rubbish. I've heard text <laughs> message after text message over the past six weeks. <laughs> yeah, mate, I'm, I'm going out driving, I'm going out drinking. Sorry, I couldn't make it today. Um, I'm really hungover. <laughs> what I'm, oh, mean? mate, you should have seen this bird last night. <laughs> Absolutely just young man filth. Where do, you think you I, where, where do you think I got these bags from? Yeah. <laughs> where do you think I got these bags from? Well, it's a good job those are the only bags you've got. But then, shh. <laughs> All right, come on, what's going on? What's going uh, on? Uh, necessity, nothing. It's been, I've been really, really, just like uh, every weekend, I've been, you know, just living the life of a 19 year old yeah. and regretting that the next day, but then still repeating it the next weekend, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm not going to do that again. Silly me. Ugh. Next weekend, yeah, I'll do it again. <laughs> so, I, like, you know, I, I can remember what it's like to be 19 um, because obviously it's not that long ago for me because um, I'm a very young man myself. Um, so, but tell us, what's, um, what's life as a 19-year-old like in uh, the 21st century, in 2021, no. in post-pandemic Britain? It's a lot harder than people actually think, I can't lie. It's a lot harder than what people think and some people won't admit. We, we, like, for example, most of us boys nowadays, it's like um, the stereotypical thing of, right, he's a man, he, you know, if he's upset, he can't be upset. If he's, or if he's sad about something, he can't admit to himself that he's sad about it or whatnot. So it's, it's not... It's you, not... I will can, But you can be. Like you, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, you can but, be, and and that yeah. goes for everybody out there. Um, but when it's once you learn to yourself that you can be, it's just you have to learn that you then have to learn that thing of you shouldn't really give a shit what everyone else says, yeah. Which I know for I know for a lot of people, I still haven't learned that one, yeah. It's um, yeah, it's funny. I was, I was thinking about this today, and um. Yeah, I was, was talking with uh, with somebody about, you know, um, sort of the, the past decade and, and lessons that, that have been learned and, you know, how you feel about things. And um, one of those uh, one of those things was, yeah, definitely not caring what other people think. Yeah. Um, you know, moment, obviously, moment, moment obviously you keep, keep in your mind, like, and keep in your heart that yeah, yeah. you're not to, like, um you know just do whatever you want and you know not care whether you hurt other people or not because obviously those are the acts of uh of a psycho you know basically yeah. but um but um yeah just kind of you know stay focused and stay happy you know have a target have a goal work towards it focus on yourself and your family um mm. and your close friends and not worry about what other people think about what you're doing yeah the, um, the, because you know they're not you they're not living your it, experience. exactly the moment you start to like 
uh, want other people's uh, opinions on what you how you want to live your life. It's no longer yours. It becomes theirs. Yeah, yeah. Because because I'm a, I'm a strong believer in you have to fail to know how to live. Kind of thing. You you got to make mistakes to know what to do. You can't if someone's struggling to some extent. Yes, you have to help them, but to some extent, they got to do it on them by themselves as well. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So um, the last time I spoke to you, you were um, you just got back from Cornwall. Yes, you yeah. had experienced um, a world of ice cream and yeah. ciders and beers, and yeah. you know, <laughs> this was your first sort of foray out into the world yeah. um, in post-pandemic UK. And Very true. Since then, since you had those beers, you haven't stopped. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't. No, I uh, I thought I might actually go get one like when I have my tea. To be honest. Yeah, I don't. I only have some at the weekend and on a Friday, Monday to Thursday. Yeah, but I don't do that. So. Um. So, um, that's a great question. Um. You know what's been going on with me? Um. Thank you very much for asking. <laughs> so, um. Yeah, I've cut, I've, I've cut, done a, cut. <laughs> we'll just give a minute. Sorry, I've, yeah. I've done a little bit of work uh, on <laughs> yeah. the website. Yeah. Yeah. I <laughs> um, I, I know. So I went on the website the other day. It. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I did a little bit more yesterday as well. So um, it's currently um, undergoing a, a refurbishment uh, a little bit. Um, yep. So, yeah, that's that's a progress in work. Um, what else have I done? I've been working really, really hard um, uh, teaching and lecturing in computer science and ICT. How's Oscar um, doing? Well, I I, oh. <laughs> I don't I don't know who you mean. Um, oh, I... And also, I cannot confirm or deny, um, you know, for... <laughs> for uh, GDPR, anybody else's details or progress, obviously. Um, so, um, you know, off camera, you know, we'll, we, can, we can talk about that. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. No, maybe not. Uh, but, um, yeah, been it's been good. Like, we, we had a lot of um, different careers, of um, different uh, career events going on. So uh, we had um, people from World Skills UK uh, live on the big screen in the university center. So the yeah. twos were loving that. Mm -hmm. um we had um guest speakers throughout induction yeah. um so we had lee hutchins um have you seen the podcast with lee hutchins no no how rings, very his dare name rings, you i have a really busy schedule <laughs> I have such a busy person. you are the busiest 19 year old i know honestly i get home and i'm like oh i just want to sit my ass and then my mom will come to me like oh i need to go around so and so's and fix this for i'm like what i'm done so, and then I got to go around and fix this for someone. And then they're like, oh, yeah, thank you ever so much. I'm like, yeah, no worries. I'm going to go home now. So I was thinking, um, I, I already put this to Lee Hutchins before, and he said he was up for doing um, like a, a three-way Zoom podcast with me, you, and him, yeah. talking about um, the latest films that have come out that we've all seen. Uh, honestly, I found something out about the new Spider-Man film. Oh, my God. Hashtag Love spoiler it. alert. Let's go. What is it? Um, the guy who played the um, the lizard from the Amazing Spider-Man, yeah, he's he's confirmed to be in the new film. No, really? He is, yeah. And so is the guy who played Sandman. So this Sandman, that, that, Sandman's this is, confirmed. There's too many characters, bro. It's I really, I I really couldn't care. This is like reminiscing my entire childhood right now. I do not care yeah. if the entire film flumps. It's just reminiscing my entire childhood. Um, I recently did, uh, I rewatched all three of the original uh, Sam Raimi um, Spider-Man trilogy um, yep. in, in order. And, yeah, yep, and yep. I actually, I wasn't, I wasn't that mad at number three. Like I, you know, when it first came out, I had like a lot of mixed feelings about it. And then afterwards in the months and years that, that went on, I was like, oh, I really don't like that film. Mm. But actually after having quite a bit of a gap and then watching this amazing Spider-Man and watching Tom Holland do his thing with Spider-Man and watching how the MCU has grown and then going back and revisiting those old classic themes um, and those old versions of, of, of those characters, Spider-Man 3 was really good. Yeah, I, it was, and yeah. I wasn't mad at, at, at the Venom um, or no, the, the, the portrayal that was in there. And yeah. I thought I thought it was I thought it was all done pretty well, mm. um, and I watched um, Amazing Spider-Man as well. Uh, one I always, I honestly think Amazing Spider-Man was pretty good to be honest. I did at the time, and I was super hyped um, for it at the time, and I wasn't that keen on the second one. Um, yeah, I went to either. It, it seemed yeah. rushed. It seemed it almost seemed as if they tried to put two films into one kind yeah. of thing. 
Yeah, and and you know the ending was was pretty negative as well. Yeah, it's um, like well, like seriously, half of people only watch this film because of that reason. So I don't know why you just done that. Okay. Yeah, that that was a that was a bad thing to do. Yeah, I, I was like, you're shitting me. <sighs> so, yeah, um, but definitely Tom Holland is you know without a yes. doubt my my favorite Spider Man. Yeah. Um, and then Toby Maguire, and then all the animated dudes, hmm. and then Andrew Garfield. <laughs> I think that I think they're all good just for like for different reasons. Like for me, I think the Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, sorry, Andrew Garfield's one played the best Peter Parker. Do you think so? Yes, but I think Tom Holland and between Tony Maguire played the best Spider-Man. I think... I think they're actors as a as I as I put as a humane role. Yeah, I think Andrew Garfield was much better at doing that. I think Andrew Garfield was a brilliant actor to be honest with you. I think. Actually, I think that um, Tobey Maguire is the best Spider-Man. Yeah. Um, and I think that hopefully his character would have grown into a more mature, more <clears throat> more emotionally stable, sort of, you know, less hooked yeah. on his girlfriend kind of thing. Because mm. it, it was very romantic and very soppy. And I felt like... I don't know. He just he needed to get over that and yeah, like yeah. become I don't know a bit tougher um, yes, emotion yeah. emotionally a little bit. Um, but I think Tom Holland is probably the best Peter Parker. I think. Yeah, I honestly, I, th- I think Tom Holland's one's the greatest. Always most. I love the last one. That was great. Yeah. So I'm I'm very excited for the new one. Yes. Um, yeah. And so I would have thought a, the second trailer will be out soon. I recently went to go see Venom. <laughs> Oh, that's the one film I didn't. I wasn't have able you, to go have and you see. Have you seen it? Have you I not seen it yet? No, I know what happens at the end though. The ending credits. And don't, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. No spoilers for anybody. Yeah, it's I, still I, I, fresh. I, I, if, if I, I'm hoping that it's going to come out, um, on like Prime or something, so I can purchase it before Spider No Way Home. Because yeah, obviously maybe, I, know, I know maybe, the credits. Maybe it'll go too. to Disney Plus. Maybe. Maybe, yeah, I maybe, think so because I think Disney have just struck the deal with struck a deal with Sony. You see, so hopefully, yeah, yeah. That's just um, saying that it could come on um Disney Plus Day. But do you know what? Do you know what's quite quite odd? Um, the when the original Venom came out, yeah, I was like, yeah, that's okay. It, it's all right. It's not my favorite. There's quite a lot about it that I don't really like. Mm, it's quite dark. But then everybody raved about it. It was like, oh, this is amazing. I was like, what? Did we watch the same film? Like, I yeah. didn't quite get where everybody's enthusiasm for it was coming from. But then the opposite thing has happened. So this time I went and watched the second one. Yeah. And I was like, whoa, this is bloody amazing. Yeah. Like, this is awesome. And all the reviews and stuff are quite negative, saying, oh, this is like the second worst Marvel film out this year. Blah, 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 I think half like the that. reason why people have done that is just... Um, it, it was like I think it's I haven't seen it, but I think it was if I watch it, I think it'll be a very good film. But a lot of people, yeah. a lot of people haven't went to go see it only because of the fact that it's an hour and a half long. It it is pretty short. It's very fast yeah, paced. That's, that's half the reason why yeah. a lot of people haven't went and watched it. Why though? It's it's great. Like not not even it, it, it's it, in exactly. And out. Yeah. I mean, I think the fact like that that comedic, um, like almost brother and sister act between. Tom Hardy and Venom, like, right, I don't like you one second, I, we're always arguing kind of thing, and then they introduced um, Woody Harrison's character, and I think I, obviously I haven't seen the film, but I think Woody Harrison is perfect to play him yeah. I, think he's a love, I think he's a great actor I really Definitely, do. I just watched um, Zombieland Double Tap last I, night Yeah, I always I yeah, that, 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 really. that was my first time watching it and, yeah. um, you know, I thought it was hilarious. I think that the part when he's like, um, uh the little girl ran up with the boy, the, the boy from Bert, and, and he's like, she stayed at a musician. And he's yeah. like, out. And like, he's a pacifist. He's like, yeah. and he smashes yeah. shit everywhere. That's the best that part. So funny. Like, I don't want to hate pacifists. I just want to punch him in the face. Yeah. And the scene with them, with the, the other guys who came along, and they were like doppelgangers of them as well. Yeah. They yeah. crushed his car. And then I the, the, El- the, El- the Elvis part and all of yeah. that. <laughs> I was that I was, was so good. good, and Woody Harrelson was amazing throughout it. I, but think, I did yeah. I did notice. I did think in um in that film last night. I was like, oh, he's starting to look a bit older now. Like yeah. I never noticed it. Like he, he... I didn't yeah. notice it in Venom too. Mm. Not at all. I was just like, oh, this guy's like ageless. You know, he's Actually, always the same. Know. 
Yeah. How old is he actually? He must be in his fifties now. Hang on, I'll find uh, out. I'll find out. Because he he used to be the bar guy in Cheers, which was in the mid to late eighties, and he I think he was in his twenties then. Oh, f- what? How old is he? <laughs> no, <laughs> really? <laughs> He's sixty. Sixty. Wow. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. He's doing all right for himself. Yeah. He's in good shape, isn't he? Mm. It'll be all those uh, Twinkies. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah like, him and his fucking Twinkies. That's all they were searching for. That's all they were searching for across some films. Yeah, I, I really liked um, the way they the way they scaled up um, the universe of Zombieland Two without yeah. it um, being ridiculous. Like yeah. the when it did external shots of the White House and all of the the plants and, and leaves and, and stuff and vines yeah. were like growing all over the place. Like, I was like, that's what I want to see in a zombie film. Yeah, it's like there was like the whole world like was covered in zombies, but you didn't see the whole world. Yeah. It's like let's take World War Z for example. I think it was pretty I think it was a really good film. That but that, that film one second makes me so tense when I watch it. Like it's... oh yeah. <laughs> one second you're like you're you're in this country, the next you're in this country, then you're yeah. back in this one, then you're over here, then you're in the UK. Like, when, when did this happen? Yeah, it's complicated, isn't it? But the book mm. was like that. Um, it's based on a book. And before oh, that, yeah, I was before World War Z came out, there was the, um, I can't remember the exact title, but something like the Zombie Survival Guide, uh, yeah. written written by the same guy. And it was just like a handbook of how to um, how to survive a zombie apocalypse, mm. like what weapons to get, where to go, where to get food, yeah. stuff like that. It was it was great. Did you ever watch uh, the James Bond film? No, not yet. Okay. No, no, okay. I'm I'm still waiting. Um, however, Lee Hutchins did. So um, oh, honestly, yeah. top tier. Yeah. Top tier. So long with say top tier. I know. I. I, I think it was. It was class. Let, let me check the cinema times now. I don't know if I'll be able to go tonight, but maybe. 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 The, maybe the wife will let me out. <laughs> <laughs> you, you. You end um the uh, the Zoom, and there you are. Just put a pair of handcuffs. Like I'm off. <laughs> it. I'm all right. Yeah, I'm all right to go. Yeah, it's it's on at half seven, so I could make it. I could make it yes, tonight. Yeah. I presume yeah. that's um I forgot what it's called uh, sh- uh what's it what's the one in Lincoln? Yeah, yeah. Shh, don't don't tell anybody. I don't Shh. want I don't want to be stalked. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, <laughs> don't don't tell them. Like somewhere in Wisby, it, was that? It, it's an Odeon. Ah. It's a very majestic Odeon. Oh, I could go see oh hang on, sorry, I want to go see the new Venom still Venom still and it's still out of the cinema. Yeah. What, like yeah. a cinema near you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coming to a cinema near you. Sam, I, could a, I could actually go, well, I'm have to put, I'll have to sew that in the, sew that uh, later when we sit down for tea. Let the carnage begin. Oh, did you hear um, about, I saw, read something about, about the new Halloween Killers film. Um, I haven't seen it. It's on I, I, tonight. I, I haven't seen it either, but I read something about it then. I, re- I generally just couldn't believe it. You know, like you have the millennials, shall we say? They want to try cancel everything. Yeah, Th- those are the guys just after me and just before you. Yeah. So the, one, I'm, the, the I'm, ones I'm, where they understand <laughs> what they, you know, but then, yeah. I'm uh, I'm like a, I'm in a weird category where I'm like border Gen X millennial, and so yeah. I'm called a, a zennial. Yeah, I and think then, it isn't Gen Z my age, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so it's like borderline millennial and Gen Z. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I actually had the screen. I'll pull up the screenshot. I, I generally couldn't believe it. I was just on, on my break. And type caption was Michael Miles cancelled. Now I'm sitting there thinking, right, a minute. So I read, I read, started reading it. Serial killer character is finally defeated by woke critics, branding him homophobic. Oh, really? He's a. Fictional yeah. character who, who kills, kills innocent people. <laughs> yeah, for it, across like twenty five films. Yeah, uh, and it doesn't matter if they're he doesn't male, give a sh- female, yeah. boy, he, like boy, girl, um, adults, not give, children, exactly. straight, gay, whatever race. He doesn't he, care if you come not, across him. Yeah, just put put your head between your legs and kiss your ass goodbye. <laughs> 
he just generally just doesn't care. And I just, yeah. I started reading it, I was like, what do you tune from it? What, what, um, what was the incentive for that article? Is, is uh, there something in the new film no, where it kills somebody uh, who's gay or something? Yes, uh, uh, those are uh, people say we do not accept homophobia. Okay, but, but it's it's not though. It's just fiction. No. Yeah. It, it... Oh well. Okay. I sh- I saw reading it. I was like, what? Like, I yeah. thought it's, I got I followed like this film page. You see, and it's like everything. But- Film thinking of it in a different way isn't it inclusive of the filmmakers to have thank everybody you. thank as you a because then exactly yeah. if he didn't include members of the lgbtq plus community will they then say well hang on a minute why aren't we included we included yeah yeah, yeah. It's, it's that argument like where hang on i'll get a couple of cups you can't you know one side's happy the other side won't be you can't please both you never can never will that's how life works madness isn't it absolute madness so um are you planning on going to watch dune no why not just not your thing not your no bag. it's not it's not really my cup of tea to be yeah. totally honest uh it's just really not i mean yeah. if i only wanted to watch it because then day is in it and i found out she's only got a seven minute screen time across a two hour and a half film so i ain't watching that seven minutes is that is yes. that all really seven minute screen time <laughs> she's been on every interview all this crap with them, obviously the main ever guy. She's only got yeah, yeah, yeah. minutes screen time across the two hour and thirty five minute. I I read that she's gonna be in the next one. Yes, yeah, so like no, there is all the way through, one. basically. Yeah. yeah. I know there is a second one. <clears throat> interesting. Very interesting. Well, I didn't know that. I didn't know that she was only in it for seven minutes. That's weird. So, um, have you got any plans for Halloween itself? No, probably gonna binge watch some horror films. To be totally honest. How many days is it till Halloween? It's like two days, isn't two it? Two days, yeah. <gasps> so close. Are you are you scared? No, not really. M- Mum and sister is they hate clowns. You see, so they see one clown and they're like, uh, right, that's it. I'm just done. Are Shit you out. are you dressing up? <clears throat> no, I. You're fine. I will probably have a pack of Tantastics watching the Conjuring series on monitor. To be totally honest, with a nice cold dark fruits to the left of me. That's it. Yep. You're not going trick-or-treating? No. Mate, you're boring. No, 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 because if one person jump scares me, I'm telling you now, without hesitation, I'm going to jab him in the throat. One person scares me, I'll jab him in the throat. I'm telling you now, I hate getting uh, like jump scares. At, at work, I'll be sitting there cutting the grass. Dad will come behind me, tap me on the shoulder, scare the crap out of me. And, oh, honestly. What if, um, <laughs> what if you get called to do a night shift at work? Oh, I'm, I'm and then that. a clown imagine, imagine comes that. out of nowhere. Honestly, honestly, right. I'm in the car. And, and yeah. says, <laughs> would you like a balloon? <laughs> <laughs> I've, heard, I've heard that what, like that quote from it, like, would you like, um, like, um, like balloons or something like that? Hiya, yeah. Georgie. I'm like, right, <laughs> see you later. I, got, <laughs> I like the films, but I see one, right, I'll tell you, if I see a red balloon floating across the field, I'm like, right. Dude, that's a well yeah, yeah. good idea. We should, like, although... I, I, Oh, to bet you're right, you were hearing the news. Bad, he's, I was going to say, he's bad for the environment. However, we should get a whole load of red balloons and, like, put them out just there. Just them across for Halloween. the field. Yeah, just float yeah. them around. That's sick. What a great idea that is. Hiya, Georgie. Hi, Georgie. <laughs> Dude, we should tie them to grates. You know, they're the sewers. <laughs> oh, my God. I, a lot of things, is right. I wasn't too keen on that film before I started watching it. Yeah. And I wasn't a big fan of horror films until like a couple of years ago. And I thought, right, fuck it. I want to watch it. I, know, I, I like just, that. I, don't, I didn't have a fear of clans, but I'm not like, it did scare me a little bit. I was like, right, fuck it. I'm going to watch it. And I watched yeah. it. And it is easily top one of my top three horror films right now. I like part one, but part two, I kind of, it kind of lost me a bit. I, I yeah, wasn't... You, you are bang on there, to be honest. Yeah. Part two was a little bit, it was out there. Yeah. Well, first of all, they should, they should have left it, to be totally honest. Yeah, but it was always a two-parter, always. Yeah. Did you? I, I tell you what, I think was, I think Bill Bill Skarsgård was brilliant in it. He was absolutely brilliant in it. Yeah, he's because, very scary. But that's not him in real life. You see, it's like to to portray yourself as something sinister as that. That's it's not something easy, you know. It's um, 
I, I was going to say it's acting. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong there. <laughs> <laughs> not wrong. Anyway, um, so what have you got for tea tonight? I actually don't know. It's normally about six o'clock that uh, uh, I get a text saying tea. So normally Friday, I'm thinking it could be heaters, could be enchiladas, you know. I have got um, stuff. Oh, no, chicken could... wings and chips Ooh. waiting for me. That's do, you what any, I've got. do you have any sauce on the chicken wings? Yeah, I think, yeah, barbecue. <sighs> barbecue, yeah, with a side salad. Ah, uh, no, you ruined it there. You ruined it. Oh, don't Stop have the to salad. have a side salad. Stop the salad. Just slap more wings on my plate. More we'll wings, everything. all yep. the wings, all the meat. Sorry, ve- sorry, vegans. Sorry, vegetarians. Sorry, chickens. Sorry, yep. Buddhists. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> I want all the chicken wings possible. All right. So, um, yeah, that that's another great question. Um, thanks for asking. I um, I oh am gonna God. dress up as uh, <laughs> Brian Blessed for Halloween. I don't know. Gordon's that alive. Um, that's what oh, I'm growing. See. I'm growing the beard out, and you can see how long that is now. Yes, yes. Much longer from the last time we had uh, done a podcast. Gordon's alive. <laughs> I'm gonna do the whole go gold wings and uh, all that sort of stuff. And failing that, if I can't do it, um, I'm just going to Photoshop my head on Brian Bl- Blessed's body. <laughs> <laughs> and then Brilliant. hopefully um, from this Halloween to next Halloween, I'm going to be working out every day, eating right. So you're going to play the Kratos, free- God of no, War. I was about to say you should play um, a guy from a free guy. <laughs> oh, the big- Have you seen that <laughs> film yet? <laughs> yeah. I don't love it. <laughs> Catchphrase. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm only three good from lifting weights and cash rate. <laughs> that film was, um, it was quite a surprise. Uh, yeah, it, I, it was, yeah, it was, it really was a lot awesome. better than I thought it was going to yeah, be. It was really, really funny. There, yeah. there was there were moments where, um, obviously, Ryan Reynolds was, was playing uh, Guy, but I'm like, I'm sitting a little bit of Deadpool here. It's like when he yeah. put the glass on, and like, <gasps> I was like, mm, hello, is this Deadpool? <laughs> it was. Um, it was it was very cool, very yeah, very that, cool. That, that end scene was really when he just pulled out the lightsaber, <laughs> and then it's then he pulled out the shield like Chris Evans, like holy shit. <laughs> and there was the the shield as well. Yes, yeah, it's like what the shit. <laughs> and then um, the start of the film was going, and I was like, is that Channing Tatum? What's going on there? Is that Channing Tatum? <laughs> I'm just uh, just trying to Google. Uh, right, well, let's have a look. Oh yeah, what was it? Um, have you seen that film, uh, Boss Level? On Amazon Prime. I s- no. I, I reckon you'll really like that. It's a bit like Groundhog Day, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I did think so. It's that on my was, list to watch. Yeah, that that was that was quite a nice surprise recently. Um, yeah. so yeah, that that was good. And also, um, the Tomorrow War. Have you seen, seen that? Seen that? Yes, that was pretty good actually. That was good, wasn't it? I was it? a little bit uh, cautious of that to turn us over because I didn't think that the Tomorrow War was going to be very good. No, um, it just. So it I seemed was, really hyped up, and I was like, "Okay, well, yeah." It better but be I was, good. But I was, was pleasantly surprised. Like it yeah. was really good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, boss level is definitely another one to to watch out for. That's um, uh, Mel Gibson, that, isn't it? Yeah, Mel Gibson, yeah. and the you know the bad guy from. Um, yeah, I, I can't think of from Captain I, America. He's been in loads of other films, but I can't think of what else. Yeah, his name is Frank Grillo. That's or, it, yeah. yeah. Frank Grillo. He was yeah. in Warrior, I believe, as well. He's, um, I think he's a real life, um, he's a real life, yeah, I know, real life I know. badass, like a real life jujitsu, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, trainer. Um, I think he was, was in a series as well, like a UFC series, yeah, yeah. Is, so, isn't he a UFC trainer turned actor? I, I think he might, it probably might be. I think he is. They would, they would explain it. I could be wrong, maybe I'm bigging him up too much, but he's he's awesome. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm happy to see that guy in more more films. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that was good. Um, what else was good? Let's have a look. Oh, I recently watched uh, Tenet. Have you seen that? Yeah. Oh god, that <laughs> that head is just a giant brain fuck. That <laughs> is. I just I watched it once. Thought right, I can't watch this game. So I'm gonna have a hemorrhage in my head. I can. <laughs> I you, watched it. Did you understand like, that? Um, did you understand the ending? No. You, Oh right, okay. So, I still don't. <laughs> you know the you know the main guy, the protagonist. Yes. Right. So you know he was sat in the Indian lady's car at yes. the end, and then he he capped her. Right. Well, he did that because he had knowledge of you know what was going to happen, like because he he got the voicemail from the blonde chick. Yep. Yeah. 
So in that instance, he became a paradox. So he never should have had that information because she didn't make that call. And yes. like he wouldn't have been there if he hadn't have been through the mission that he went through and everything yeah. that we saw. So he shouldn't he shouldn't be there because he never went on that mission because he killed the Indian woman. Yeah. It was it was brilliant. Yeah, mm. it was really good. I liked it. Yeah, have you uh, seen have you seen uh, Infinite? Infinite. No, I'm just looking at that now. Yeah, Mark that's, Wahlberg. That's... Is that good? It says um it's a bit like Marmite to be taken on. It says Evan. Mark Wahlberg is haunted by skills he has never learned and is... memories of places he has never visited. He is rescued by a secret group of people or things called infinites who reveal his memories are real from it his really, past lives. It really and he is. must race against time to save humanity from one of their own who wants to destroy it. It really is like my, my I can't lie to you. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Mm. You either like it. But a lot of the a lot of the film seems like it's been copied from another film kind of thing. Yeah, there's a lot. Have you noticed that? I don't know what happened, but recently, like this year, there's been a lot of films released that are have the similar premise to Groundhog Day. So yeah, Tomorrow War, the boss level. Tomorrow War, boss level. There was that other one with um, the guy from Brooklyn Nine Nine. Um, um, Paradise something in it. Yeah, what was that? What's that called? I can't think uh, of it now. I've got it on here somewhere. Uh, it's called Paradise, you? isn't it? Where are you? Oh, I can't think of it now. Where, oh. are you? Where is it? That's annoying, you know, when you're looking for yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, I can't think of it. What's the dude called? Um, oh, bloody hell. Man, we're rough. I tell what I did watch the other day. Scream. What the first one? <laughs> yeah. Because for the first a... for the first time ever. Yes, but I knew the the twist at the end before I watched it because some bugger yeah. told me. But I want to go see the new one just because I don't I don't want to give spoilers or anything, but I feel I'm gonna have to. Because Stewie wasn't declared dead. Okay. Whereas everyone else was, including the 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 boyfriend, but he wasn't the boyfriend, you know, the ex boyfriend, you know, that that guy. I forgot his name. That Ryan, film, I think it was. That film was called Palm Springs. That's it, Palm Springs. That's the one. Yeah. So there was that, but this um this trend all started with um oh bloody hell, what, um Happy Death Day. Yeah, yeah, Happy Death that? Day. And happy Death yeah. Day too. Yeah, Happy Death Day was quite a good film. They should have left it. it was, though. Yeah. They should have left it actually. Yeah. Sure, there's no need for a second one. That that was another surprisingly good film. Mm. Um, because I was like, I didn't think it was gonna work, but it did. Um <coughs> have you seen Parasite? No. That's a South Korean film, dude. It's yeah. so <laughs> good. Really? You need to check Parasite out. Yeah. It's you know, subtitles. Um, but I, don't totally, have a pro- I don't have a problem with it. Totally worth it. Film. Oh, man, it's so good. I cannot rate it highly enough. I, I, it's just something about South Korean films. They're so good. Like, yeah, um, it does, as soon as I want to get really tense, it's like the tense moments. Like It's a, not the same as watching a yeah. film in English people. There's, the, there's another awesome one um, from back in the day that I always recommend, and it's called The Chaser. And that was the, f- I think that was the first South Korean movie I ever watched. Um, and you, you just got, you got to see it. You got to check it out. The Chaser. It's so good. It's mm. about this like former detective who um, he is, uh, he becomes a pimp and one of, you know, his, his girls start going missing. So he's like, you know, he goes looking for, for this girl and there's a, you know, perhaps there's a, a serial killer. Yeah. Um, taking these women um, so yeah it's very very tense very like you know fast paced really really cool definitely worth it if you haven't yeah. seen the, the Chaser you should definitely check I'm it out I'm trying to find a film on uh, Netflix I watched a couple of weeks ago Subtitles it's pretty it's, about, it's like a small island that's powered by a uh, nuclear reactor it's like almost as if it was Chernobyl but it was on a, a uh, like a small Asian island somewhere it was, I mean, it was actually really, really good. Quite sad, actually, as well, can't lie. 
Sounds kind of familiar. That's it. It's a Korean film. Sorry, Pandora. Okay. Uh, when an earthquake hits a Korean village, running at, run down nuclear power plant, a man risks his life to save the country from imminent disaster. It's a lot like all the other disaster nuclear films, but it was honestly really good. <clears throat> Have you seen um, Squid Game? Nah, I can't. That's just messed up. I, I haven't... Uh... I, I feel as if I should watch it, but I just yeah, can't. Because everybody's talking about it. I'm the same. Yeah, Sometimes though, when the hype gets too big, I kind of like move away. Yeah, and, that, yeah, yeah, that does kill the film off. Yeah. Um, have you seen that series, You? Nah, my sister no. watches that though. Yeah, it's, it's pretty pretty sick. I, I just watched that. Like, I haven't watched any of it really, but down I was downstairs and I caught the whole of season three, which is hmm. not a great place to start. No, um, I don't think know, so. <laughs> but it was good, really good. So I might go back and watch season one, two, and three. Mm. Um, but yeah, um, that's you know that that's definitely worth a watch as well. And also, don't forget to check out Seinfeld <laughs> on uh, on Netflix. Love you'll, it. you'll notice that um, the thumbnail for Seinfeld is uh, George Costanza in in his sexy pose in his underwear. Yeah. Love it. <laughs> Love it. You Have you ever it. seen um, Kung Fu Hustle? No, I just that just come up though, didn't it? Yeah, it's just come up it. on Netflix, dude. You got to watch that. That will blow your mind. Hang that's on, one. Put... That's one for tonight, that mate. So good. In fact, you watch it tonight, and we'll we'll do an episode about it. We'll do a Kung Fu Hustle special. What? I'm, I think I'm going out off my tea. <gasps> What? Oh, hang on. Speaking of that. Oh, there text. we go. We speak Teaser. of the devil. Teaser there it five is. Minutes. Teaser five Stay minutes. Saved by mean, the bell. That means it's more like seven minutes, ten minutes. All right, yeah. Man. No worries. So, yeah, let, let's wrap this up then. Oh, I'm just seeing loads of films on Netflix that I feel like watching now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I'll finish watching all the It Man films as well. Oh, good films. Yeah, I, I actually I started watching the first one of those. Um, I will admit the first one's a lot better than the, the other ones because the other, the first one's in subtitles, but the rest is dubbed. Right, I, I don't mind. Which I don't doesn't, mind which actually really annoys me considering most of the people in it can speak English. Yeah, I know flipping Donnie Yang, the main guy, can. <laughs> um, did you watch uh, Dave Chappelle's uh, Sticks and Stones? No, I keep meaning to watch some of his stuff because Dude, he's so he's, really, he's really com- he's like controversial and a lot of people yeah. don't like him. It's it's so funny. I think I think people have missed the point of mm. of the show. Obviously, you know Dave Chappelle, he's a comedian. You know, people get offended by comedians and things all yes, the time. You got it, yeah. Um, but he takes a fair pop, a fair shot at everybody. Yeah. Um, yes, yeah. and then. When he goes into the you know the the last act of his act, the yeah. sort of the the final third of the the show, which is what has caused the the uproar, the actual I think the actual sentiment behind it is very meaningful and very full of um, you know genuine emotion and love for the trans community and for trans people. So yeah, it's um, but people only will always interpret things the way they want to yeah. interpret things. You see, which I do. It's not wrong, but you can't change that. So, yeah, exactly. It kind of comes yeah. to that point where, it, like, in order for you to be happy and express your opinions, there'll always be someone that will argue your opinion. Yeah. Which always makes me laugh because you see these people, no matter what you're protesting for, it will not make any sense. Because if you're happy, someone else won't be happy. And it'll be a matter of time until they speak up and then it's changed and then you're no longer happy. So, it's just a giant circle. I just don't know why we all can't get along. I, I honestly, I honestly don't get it. It's, it's just, it's not you, that You see hard. these people like, so tensed up about everything, yeah. like, just take a chill, Bill. It's, it's, it's what, not that what, what hard, is about? it, to get along, to have empathy and to see other people's pain or, or other people's side of things exactly. and just be like, uh, you know, if I offended you, I'm sorry, like, you know, and just get on and look after one another. We're all on this honestly giant earth shaped spaceship floating through space at 10,000 miles an hour together we're not going anywhere we might as well try and make the best of it like 
I um it's just so, madness. What you just said, sorry, I just wondered about the uh, spin about like 10,000 miles per hour. Yeah, I, I was watching some I he's, he's quite a smart guy. Uh, I can't remember who he was. Um, anyway, big science, uh, like space kind of guy. And he said, because of how fast the earth's moving, if the earth stopped rotating right now, we'd all f- move at 40 mile like f- speeds because it's almost like a car slamming on their brakes. Ooh. Yeah, which is I thought I was like, what? So, whoa, it's a bit scary. <laughs> <laughs> I am just driving the old John Deere at work. We just stopped. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was just, um, I, I, you know, I was flicking through the the Google News, and I get a lot of science news coming uh, coming at me, and I, I read something really odd. And maybe I maybe I read this on LinkedIn. Um, it was um, that the Earth is going through. Um, some form of tunnel in space yeah so the path that we take around the sun there's some sort of like energy tunnel that we go through yeah um as we as we go around and that's what keeps us like on the same path mm. it's, it's, it's all we will never fully know the answer to this stuff which is a good thing yeah life is complicated and beautiful anyway my man go and eat whatever it is you're gonna eat and i get it and it's fucking stew. <laughs> I want to walk out that door and I'm going to go right back here. I'm well annoyed. I'm going to go and eat myself some chicken wings. Yeah, like barbecue you, they, chicken wings. They all brag about chicken wings. Now I'm like, I've got freaking casserole. Oh, great. Well, well, lad, Friday you, can always, you can always get chicken wings later, can't you, after you've had your beer? Oh, bang on. Hello. I'd like to have so and so and so and so. Thank you. <laughs> Bit down the phone. Hello. Uber Eats. Please, can you bring <laughs> me the KFC? Uber Eats. Just eat. Deliver none of them delivered to me. Well, you know, you shouldn't be a farmer then, should you? Living out in the sticks. Well, you need to move uh, into well, a town. Well, well, maybe you need to book your ideas up and you can't <laughs> say we travel everywhere. Well, clearly you don't, dumbass. Take it everywhere apart. I think the it's, it's I want to do if I want to get dominoes, I have to buy to the village next next door. Guess what? I park <sighs> up out my friend's house and I Guess wait what? for it. Oh, he's got, yeah, yeah, yeah. Papa speaking. John's is opening up in town. Oh, I'm not a big fan That's of Papa John's. So excited. I'm not a big fan of Papa John's. You're mad. Papa John's is the best. He's better nah. than Domino's. No, no, no. It is. No, you're wrong. And it's better than Pizza Hut. I can agree with you on that one, but Domino's is a bit. Do you think so? I don't know. Domino's always makes me feel a bit. Yeah, Domino's is down like underneath my shoe and then top. Uh, sorry, no. Uh, Papa John's like underneath my shoe nah. and then Domino's. Nah, man, you got is, it like, right the first up in the heavens. <laughs> Okay, right. So have a great night and um, hit me up. Um, you know, if you if you watch Kung Fu Hustle, then we'll do a Kung Fu Hustle episode. Oh, uh, I'm going out tomorrow for a Chinese to celebrate my grand's birthday, so I won't be able to, I won't be able to do another one tomorrow. No worries. You you say your grand's birthday? How old is your grand? Sixty five. That's pretty young for a grand. Yeah, I know. So, um, what's your nana called? Denise. Denise. Yeah, Denise. D nice. You seen the video? D nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, yo, uh, a big happy birthday shout out to D nice pegs. <laughs> Take it easy. Happy birthday, Grandma. Yeah. <laughs> you broke up then, dude. Oh, uh, uh. yeah. Come. Happy birthday, Grandma. Happy birthday, Grandma. <laughs> right, dude. Right. See you later. Tally ho. Tally ho. Pip pip. See you on the flip side. Are you stopping recording? Do you actually want me to go? Anyways. Um, yeah, we're just going to... Yeah, we're going to go. We're going to okay. go, go, go. All right. All right. It's tally, hey? <laughs> oh, hang I'll, on a minute. I'll... Maybe maybe you don't want me to go. One second. Okay. See you later, everybody. <laughs> um, don't forget to subscribe and like um, and comment and share and go on to www.cybernaut.club. Um, the club is currently full, so you can't join. Yeah, man. It's full. Oh, I was, glad I, was, I was glad I was one of the first members then. Yeah. For reals. Um, yeah. But yeah, by all means, I'm an, come, I'm an OG. Check out, check out the website, get connected. We're on all the social medias. Um, and subscribe and like, hit that, hit that button. We need, Sma- we need, smash, what's it? Smash that thousand? like button. Smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button. Smash that like button. Subscribe and, and like. Yeah. And like and subscribe. We need a thousand subscribers, don't we? Yeah, something like that to yeah. get, uh, it's, fa- it's like a thousand subscribers and a specific amount of views. And f- 500 hours of view time, which we're very, very close to, actually. Yeah, I signed that I streamed for the first time like in a couple of months the other day. Yeah, Twitch, I got, yeah, I got, I got the email. 
yeah, I got five followers like within ten minutes. I'm like, okay, but come back to me. Come back to me. Come, come back, back to me, people. Yeah, but, come back. I was only like a half hour stream. I was really, really tired. I'm like, see you later. I'm going to bed. Yeah. Half of them is no. I just don't have the energy anymore. Well, if you I stop drinking, this... maybe you will have the energy. I have to put my enjoyment to the side to allow other people to enjoy their lives. Nope. You should happen. put all things that cause you to feel joy and pleasure to the side and focus solely on your career for the next 20 years. Well, it, well <laughs> I've got a job. I mean, I will admit, most 19-year-olds don't have a job. I can't lie. That's true. You are very responsible for a 19-year-old. Yes, I'm very mature. Very mature. What? What? Like a cheese. You got it? Right. You got it. You got it. Right. Tally ho. Tally ho, Pip Pip. Tally ho. Goodbye.